Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You are now listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're talking about the motherfucking Sagittarius astrological reading for the motherfucking week. You know what I'm saying? Astrolog, y'all know I don't know the fucking words in English, but who gives a fuck about English? Check this out. We're going to tell y'all motherfuckers what's going on with y'all motherfuckers. Now, the sun is in Virgo. So that's squaring your ass already. Your son is in Sagittarius, so that's already a motherfucking square. And I ain't talking about no motherfucking cigarette. I'm talking about a learning process. It's a learning process going on with your motherfucking actions. Sagittarius is how you act. That's your actions. But the actions and the energy you're going to be receiving from everything and everybody else is going to be a motherfucking learning process. People may not act the way you act. People may not understand things you understand. People may not like to go out the way you like to go out. People may not may not like to sit down and learn and listen to you talk the way you like to sit, the, sit up there and motherfucking talk. People don't want to hear you preach. Do you practice what you preach? That's the motherfucker lesson of this motherfucker video right now. Son of Sagittarius, son of Virgo right now, do you practice what you preach? Because that's what a motherfucker gonna ask you. Yeah, you sound good, you talk a good game, but motherfucker, is it real? Let me see this shit. Oh, this nigga make all this motherfucking money, but where's rims at? Where's phone at? Where's new Facebook picture at? Where the shit at? You know what I'm saying? That's what niggas want to see right now. Because you don't understand right now, you motherfucker feeling some shit right now, and you want to feel a certain way and see things a certain way, and you trying to create a way to create, make everybody around you see see things the way you see it. But what you got to understand, the sun is in Virgo right now. People don't see it the way you see it. The way they see the shit is, where the fuck is that? You talking all that motherfucking shit, but you in your mama's basement. You got all this motherfucking talent, but ain't nobody paying you. You worked all these motherfucking hours, but the money ain't adding up. You know what I'm saying? You got you a female, motherfucker. You got you got all these motherfuckers hitting your motherfucking phone, but ain't nobody uh, buying your motherfucking baby no motherfucking diapers, no motherfucking pampers. What the fuck that mean? Yeah, we want to see if it's real. Yeah, the shit you say, shit you saying sound good, but where is that? Virgo want to know where is that? Yeah, yeah. You made all this money. You made all this money this week. Where the money you owe me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what the fuck is going on right now. So you got to understand your actions is being looked at. Your ass is being looked at, and you may be the one. It always played both sides. You may be the one witnessing this with other people. But it always is always going to be that type of situation What's going on. Whether you the one predecessor or you the one being the prey. Let me tell you, let me tell you another thing. The moon is in Sagittarius, so people going to feel you. But conjunctions work like oppositions. It's just the conjunction is more on the balanced side of positivity. The opposition is more on the balanced side of negativity. But they both play out in the same ways. So the moon, the moon is motherfucking conjuncting your motherfucking sun. So your sun, your fire ass being, being mutable in fucking situations in Sagittarius. Now you got to motherfucking understand that. People going to feel you. Yeah, yeah. You still got your rollies with you. You still got your riders with you. You still got your girls with you. You still got your best friend with you. That's down to go whoop a motherfucking another bitch ass that she seen at the movies with your dude a week ago. You know what I'm saying? You still, she's still there. She still feel you. Right, right. But her actions, but 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 what you don't know is she going to your other friend talking about how dumb you is. That's what you don't know. She talking to your she talking to your friend about how stupid you is. Yeah, this bitch dumb. Yeah, we went to go beat that bitch ass. But yeah, guess why though? Cause this bitch was at the movies with her her nigga the other day and we seen him and shit. Yeah, he tried to talk to me. Oh, I ain't tell her that though. I just told her I seen her. Yeah, yeah, you don't know that part though. The details, bitch. <laughs> you don't know that part. You got to understand. You got to see shit from what it is. The sun is in Virgo right now. Yeah, all that shit sound good, but is it real? That's the learning process Sagittarius is going through right now with the sun being in motherfucking Virgo. And with the moon being in Sagittarius, yeah, people still feel you, though. You still manifesting situations in your favor, but the situations that you manifesting, the characters that's playing in it may not be for your favor. That's the only difference. The actions may be different. The way they act may start be different because the sun is in motherfucking Virgo, which is a learning process for your ass, your fiery ass. Now, let's get into Merc Mercury. Mercury also on Virgo. Now, this is the way everybody thinking and how everybody communicating. This is also a square. So when you want to go out and do shit and just experience it and witness it firsthand, people want to sit back and analyze it first. They want to see other people do it first. They want to think about it first before it's done. You may not got enough gas to do what the fuck you want to do, but you still want to do it just because you want to witness the experience. But people are going to talk about your dumb ass because if your ass run out of gas, they're going to say, I told you so. See, now you're not thinking right. You're not thinking practical. Your ass is feeling a certain way and getting inspired and getting excited you got to chill mercury gonna tell you to chill mercury is in virgo now we're gonna get to motherfucking uh we're gonna get to motherfucking venus 
Venus is in Libra. Now, Venus is Libra. Now, this is a sextile. Now, like we said, anytime something is a sextile, that's two energies having sex to create a new energy. So that's going to create an opportunity. Anytime something new, that's an opportunity. So with, with Libra, with Venus being a Libra right here, this creating an opportunity for you to be expressive to things that you, pe people going to be around, people going to like what you value. Things you went to, your actions, you're going to have support. People going to relate to that. People going to value that. People going to appreciate that. You're going to have support for your actions and how you act and whatever you into, whatever you're doing. So you got that right now. Sun sign Sagittarius, you got that. You know what I'm saying? Just got to know how to not overuse it. Because remember, niggas still watching your ass. Yeah, you doing all this shit. You doing all this shit. But when it's time to return the favor, don't forget. Don't forget. <laughs> That's what Venus going to teach your ass if you, if you take too many opportunities. All money ain't good money. Now look, check this out. Mars. Mars being a Sagittarius. Now, now, like I said, anytime there's a conjunction or whatever like that, it still can work out like the opposition. It's just sometimes it work out a little for the positive matter. Now look, when Mars being a Sagittarius, everybody attentions, have things that they intend to do. You fuck with that shit, because this is your actions already. This is how you act already. People come up to you, their, their, their intentions, and what they intend to do is to, to teach you something, put you on to something new, onto a new, teach you about something that everybody just realizing about something right now. Yeah, you fuck with that right now. Yeah, knowledge, game base, all that shit, you with that shit right now. You you fucks with that shit right now. But look, 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 when two things in the same element, especially a conjunction, what can happen? Friction, opposition, because both of y'all doing the same motherfucking thing, but you got your own ways of doing it. And when it's a conjunction, both people doing the same thing, one person got to come out on top. Another motherfucker don't want to be number two. So that's, you think you think that's just humans? That's motherfucking planets too. Two planets in conjunction, they battle on energies. You think Jupiter, you think Jupiter want, want Mars to take motherfucker over if they if they both in motherfucking Sagittarius? No. So I'm telling you right motherfucking now, by your motherfucking sun being in Sagittarius and Mars being in Sagittarius right now, you're going you're gonna to deal with a lot of friction too. You're going to deal with a lot of opposition. Because a lot of people want your place right now. A lot of people want what you got. A lot of people want to be in the same position you in. And you looking at everybody else like, man, I ain't got shit. But people looking at you like, man, you just don't know what you got. As soon as the minute you take your uh, fucking attention and take your eyes off of what, what you was mistreating and misusing, somebody took that motherfucking shit. And before you could realize where that shit was at, when you start to feel like you want that shit again, months down the line, you can't find the shit. Yeah. Female, that go for your man too. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that shit go. You got to understand what's going on with the conjunction at the same time. Yeah, you're going to get help. Yeah, you got, you got support with your intentions. And you can carry out your intentions. When you're around, people don't sense a bad, don't sense you have bad intentions. But that don't speak for people around you. That don't speak for other people's intentions. They Mars probably fucked up. You don't know what they intend to do. They may got a slick-ass Mars. They Mars may be in a slick-ass sign to the point that they make you feel like they with you. And take every fucking thing you got. Motherfuck you motherfuckers better get into prenups. Shit, yeah, you know, Jupiter. Jupiter and motherfucking, uh, Jupiter is in Virgo. Now, you know, with your son being in Sagittarius, this is also a square. So in Jupiter, your motherfucking sign. So you all, you off the bat gotta know where Jupiter at. When you came in this world, you need to know where Jupiter at. Because Mars carry out the duties and obligations of the sun. But by your sun being ruled by Jupiter, you need to know where Jupiter at. So you can know how your Sagittarius energy is getting is getting predicated and duplicated and being intended to do. So right now, Sagittarius is motherfucking in, uh, I mean, Jupiter is in Virgo. So right now, your natural planet is at square with you. So you have to learn a lot about yourself right now. You got to learn that you don't know everything. You got to learn that you can't teach everybody. It's your turn to sit down and be the student. It's your turn It's your turn to sit down and see how it's done. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how it's done. You can't explain something that you never did. Yeah, it sounds good, but is it real? You know what I'm saying? Jupiter, Jupiter being a Virgo going to show you that the most. And if you sit back and learn, and, and, and you will get a lot of wisdom. But if you put yourself out there in situations where people can look at you and know where you lying at, and they can dictate you on their own behalf, then you fucked up. That's when you know you fucked up, being too careless, leaping before looking, thinking everybody want to hear what you got to say. That's, you know, that's, sad. that's Sagittarius in the motherfucking sun. But you don't understand that right now because you think everybody's going along with what you got to say. Yeah, they look like they feel you. But the action is going to show otherwise. And you're going to see. You're going to see. Now, motherfucking, um, 
uh, Saturn. Now, Saturn working for you too, because Saturn is Sagittarius. Saturn is how one builds structure in one's life, how one gains stability, and, and how one builds restrictions and limits in other parts of their life. Now that's a Sagittarius, so your actions and the way you act is already in the realm of reality of doing that. So you're already on the road of trying to get a hold of something that you can hold on to for the rest of your life and never let go and benefit off the shit. That's what you're trying to do right now. That's how you're trying to feel and you in that field and people understand that's what you're doing right now. So your ideas sound more, your, as a Sagittarius sign, your ideas of trying to do business or whatever you're trying to, your goal you're trying to do sound more believable than a lot of other signs right now. Just due to the fact Saturn is right there. So that's what Saturn is helping. But we're Saturn hurting and we're Saturn trying to make you learn. This everybody, everybody is not going to help you though. You got to learn how to do it yourself. That's the only thing. Now, when you got motherfucking uh, Uranus and Aries, Uranus is helping you out also. Uranus is uniqueness and origi originality, but it's also change and rebellion. So, you got to know with it being an Aries, when it's time to initiate a new originality, a, a, a new uniqueness, sometimes you may be too busy copying somebody else. Too mutable. So, that's the only problem you're going to run into with that fire, with the cardinal versus mutable. That's the only problem. But when it comes down to the situation, when it comes to uh, Uranus, you're going to get help because it's going to understand you. It's going to understand your way of doing it. So it's going to give you a pass It's going because it's going to know that you're still going to come to the same conclusion that it came to anyway. Now, when we come to motherfucking um, Neptune, Neptune is in Pluto. Now, this is a motherfucking square. This is another learning process. Only thing you got in common is Jupiter because y'all both ruled by Jupiter. So the only thing you got in common is that both of y'all know that you need to learn something in this lifetime. And you need to have some type of wisdom in order to pass on. So you know you have to have some form of connection or knowledge or higher purpose or higher spiritual connection in order to be here in this, in this existence in the way that you're supposed to do. Now that's the only thing y'all get along with. But see, water, see Pisces... The only way they doing that, they got to feel it. They got to emotionally connect with it. See, you got to see it. You got to visualize it. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta have it seen in your own life and seen that shit done right before your eyes to make it be like, damn, I seen this shit. is the light. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, the, that's the only difference. You feel two different ways. But that's the only thing you got in common. But it's still a learning process. You know what I'm saying? And the fire and water here that you have to learn, sometimes you have to learn to connect. And not to be so spread thin with your energy. And with water got to learn from you, sometimes you got to disconnect. Because everybody may not relate to things and absorb the whole shit the way you want to. So, you got to learn from that. That's the only thing, though. But we know with Neptune, is your dreams and illusions, but your imagination and, and creativity also. So, you know, with Sagittarius, you know, they're going to have a creative outlook on spirituality, on religion, on a lot of aspects, on abstract thoughts or philosophy and stuff like that. But a lot of times they may be talking way over head over hills. So, like I said, sign in Virgo. You're going to get the motherfuckers come and check your ass and bring your ass back to reality, let you know your ass been in space too long. But at the same time, that's a learning process. So it's a good thing at the end of the day, any motherfucking way. And when we get last but not motherfucking least, we got Pluto. I'm Pluto and Capricorn. And it's the sign right ahead of you. So what's going on right now? See, right now, it's like a semi-square, a semi-sextile, some semi, some light, some that. It ain't that serious, but you may have to get over it. You may have to learn on a, a, a short overhand coming or a short short coming but whatever the situation is it's just that so when they got capricorn right here with pluto being that motherfucking capricorn this deep transformation deep willpower you know what i'm saying and how to fucking really deeply transform a situation in your life in order to get a bad or a good outcome so with your son with your son being a Sagittarius, right now you may not understand the way people are gaining structure in their life. You may not understand because you think people are being too emotional with their shit. You think people are being too tight. You think people are being too budgety. You think people are not, not releasing enough. You think people are not relating enough. You think people are being, being too, too secretive because they think everybody got something out to get them. But nah, that's just how people are looking at it. People are trying to build structure. People are trying to hold on to what they got. And your flighty ass can't sit down because people can't trust you. That's the whole situation. That's the whole thing. When people can't trust you, it's not that you're not the one to be trusted. You just have to understand the actions that you be taking and make a person feel like they can't trust you because you're never stable. And when you say, oh, I'm stable, I can make money, all this stuff, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is when you got money, you start to feel like you don't have to do a lot of shit. But when you don't got money, now you want to do a lot of shit. Tell me if I'm lying, son of Sagittarius. Tell me. <laughs> Motherfucker. 
And you female son of Sagittarius, y'all know too. Because y'all want to preach with a, with a, a, to your man all in his ear what he should and what he shouldn't be doing. And you out here doing the same fucking shit. You want to tell him why why he got why he got a lock on his fucking phone, but you been had a lock on your phone. So if he bring that up, first argument you're going to say is I been had it. I never took it off. Get the fuck out of here with that motherfucking shit. You know what the fuck going on. Shit. But look, yeah. That's the motherfucking weekly astrological reading for Sagittarius sun signs. Y'all know what the fuck it is. Flight boss bitching up. For sure. Air.